Hi everyone, my name is April, and this is Thrifted Transformations, the show where I go thrifting for old clothing and transform them into something new. This is the dress I found at Savers for $8. I really love the colors and the shine in the fabric. It looks so glamorous and fun, but the style is definitely outdated. The dress has one short layer on top and then underneath are three layers of ruffles sewn onto the lining dress. The first thing I did was remove the shoulder pads, the flower, and the sleeves. I want a high neckline in the front, so I decided to flip the dress around so that the back side is now in the front and the front is now in the back. The back has a slit at the neckline with a button closure, which looks great in the front as well. Taking some pins, I take in the sides of the dress to fit me, and notice how I'm only making alterations to the top chiffon layer and nothing else. After pinning, I hand baste it together to make sewing on the machine a lot easier because when you're working with chiffon, the material tends to move around a lot. The seam I'll be using is a French seam for a clean look on the inside. And to sew a French seam, you'll want to sew the two layers wrong sides together first. After the side seams are sewn wrong sides together, trim the seam allowance to an eighth of an inch and then fold it back over to the other side so that the seams are now facing right sides together. And then you can sew it at a quarter inch to enclose the raw edges. Next, I'm going to lower the back v-neck for a more bare back look and I'll also have to lower the new front neckline just a little so it's not choking me. To do so, I turn the dress inside out to expose all the raw edges and hand baste the new design through both layers of the dress so it stays together when I sew it on my machine. Since I'll be cutting away the original interfacing, I have to add my own using some organza I have at home. I'm using a nude organza instead of regular interfacing because chiffon is transparent and you'll be able to see white interfacing underneath. After making adjustments to the neckline, I clip the corners, turn the dress right sides out, and understitch the lining so it stays down. Now I can alter the lining dress to fit me by taking in the side seams. Next, I trim the chiffon dress to even out the hemline since it raises up on one side. With the three layers of ruffles I removed from the lining dress, I'm going to sew one layer around the bottom of the dress I just trimmed. I also want to add ruffles around the armholes as sleeves. First, I had to pin the ruffle around the armhole and resize it, and then I sewed the new seam line with a French seam. To hide the raw edges around the armhole, I also sewed them together with a French seam by first sewing the sleeve to the dress wrong sides together, and then flipping it back over to sew it right sides together to enclose the raw edges.
Lastly, I trimmed and hemmed the lining dress. I literally finished it hours before leaving to New York, so it was super stressful, especially because my machine started acting up at the last minute, but I'm super happy with the finished product. Here is the final transformation. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thrifted Transformations. I had so much fun making this and wearing it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.